I know you normally like to start with a statement about the other team. So if you want to go ahead and do that. Yeah, no, so much uh, respect for the Brooklyn Nets, their players, um, you know, all of them the, the, from the top of the roster to the bottom, uh, Coach Steve Nash, his staff, Sean Marks, the GM, a lot of great people, a lot of respect um, for them. Um, hell of a series. So, um, yeah, first question. Uh, for you guys, just late in the game, obviously, I mean, I think everyone hits a big shot. Giannis hits a post up, a little hook shot. Chris hits a big one. Drew hits a bunch of big ones late. Just what do you see from those three to be able to get to their spots, have the confidence, even though they might have struggled either from the free throw line or from the field earlier on in the game? Yeah, those guys, they just, you know, they're great competitors. Um, you know, I love the way they just keep coming, keep playing, um, find a way to win, a, a, you know, an overtime game on the road, game seven. They all made big plays down the stretch, and we need them, every one of them. For you, when when you think of this game, I'm going to think of Brooke Lopez at center court just losing his mind after you guys seal this thing. Uh, I'm curious for you, Brooke has that big block down on the other end. Just, just what did you think of his ability to affect the game late? I thought he was great. You know, I, I felt like he shot the ball well. He, he did a lot of things for us. Um, you know, three threes, everyone big, you know, a couple finishes around the basket, um, screens. He just did a little bit of everything. You know, he's, he's a big part of who we are. The guys trust him. They know he's there. Um, he's incredible protecting the paint and um, taking all that away. You got to live away from the basket. Um, you know, lots of games while Brooke is playing. Can you take me through Durant's final two shots? I, I guess his final shot at the end of regulation and then his final shot uh, at the end of overtime, both times one-on-one -on -one coverage, one time PJ, one time Drew. Yeah, no, I mean, I thought, you know, really, really good individual defense both times. Um, you know, he's just, he's an incredible shot maker, um, you know, and for us, uh, you know, just good to get that last stop, get that last miss, um, you know, and win the game basically on a defensive stop. For you, um, are you, it, was that Brooks mix up on the shot clock? Uh, in, in, in oh, the, that's in me. I, I got it. I got to help them better. I got to do better. Um, you know, so, um, you know, I think fortunate to, to come out and get the win, but in some ways, I think, you know, all of us were motivated, more motivated to make sure um, we got it. Um, but that's, that's on me. Tim Bontemps. Mike, I was curious after the way those final couple of minutes of the fourth quarter went, what was going through your mind after Durant hit that shot? And then you guys are in overtime when you had it, obviously, in your hands like that. Yeah, I mean, it's just the fight, you know, the, the character of this group to find a way, you know, because I think we went down four to start the overtime and, um, you know, a few possessions just like they went on and, you know, we couldn't get a defensive board and, then we started getting stops and, and guys made big baskets and able to kind of flip it and take the lead. And, and it's just been a heck of a series. Um, you put so much emotion and so much, you know, energy and time into it for this group to be rewarded with a good, you know, or huge win um, in a game seven and overtime. It's just a great group. So you just feel good for the group, feel great for the players. What was the difference in this game as opposed to, say, game five when you guys were able to respond here down the stretch, both in fourth quarter and in overtime, and be able to make all the plays that you needed to to pull this out? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, a couple more stops. It, you know, I think Durant, you know, still goes for 48 tonight. But, um, you know, I, I don't know that there was a second guy. You know, Harden had a great game. Harden got to the free throw line. But even even there, you know, I think it was it was Durant and – we were maybe able to limit everybody else a little bit better than uh, than the fifth game. And then I think we're just able to, you know, score a little bit, find a couple shots, a couple three balls were big, you know, Drew's three from the wing in front of our bench and Chris's, you know, from the wing corner, um, you know, we needed both those, those were huge threes. And just one final thing, you mentioned Drew, obviously he struggled for a large majority of the game, but then at the end of the fourth quarter, he hit, he hit that three, hit the jumper on the baseline, got to the line. Um, how, how impressed were you that he was able to kind of overcome the struggles he was having for the first 45 minutes or so to make all those plays when it mattered? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's, it's almost uh, to, to play that way, but to still have the fight, to still have the confidence, still have the willingness to go make a play, make a shot. You know, we've been talking about Drew's character, Drew's toughness, the confidence that he brings to our team, um, you know, so to, to, to not have your best and then, 
when we need it most, um, he came through for us and, uh, you know, excited for him to keep playing and go deeper into the playoffs, our whole group. Jim Ozarski. Hey, Mike, uh, Giannis's effort, I guess, through the first, uh, you know, 48, and then I know he had the big, the big bucket to tie it in overtime. I, I, I guess where, where can you begin and, and go through with what, uh, what he was asked to do tonight? Yeah, you know, there's so much responsibility he takes on every night. You know, I think the defense, you know, what he's having to do, guard all kinds of different guys, be in different coverages offensively, you know, be, be the balls in his hands a ton, whether it's, you know, coming in transition, almost like a point guard playing out of the post playing as he just does, he does so much. Um, and to be able to do it for 50 minutes, I think tonight, um, just, you know, super impressed and, um, you know, he's, he's very special. Uh, second, second time, time in three years to reach the Eastern Conference Finals uh, and, and to, to do it on the road. Um, I, I know that that means there's more work to do, but uh, I'd imagine there's it, it's part of the goal, right, to, to, to have done this tonight. Yeah, you got to keep advancing, you know, and this group's going to want more. Uh, you know, we'll take a second to, you know, just kind of breathe tonight, um, you know, take care of our bodies, take care of our minds. Um, and then, you know, when appropriate, when the time's right, you know, it'll be time to get ready for, uh, for the next round and, and the next, you know, competitive moment that, that's going to be coming in game one. Back to Eric for one more. Uh, I would just like you to talk about PJ Tucker specifically. I mean, obviously he's not going to have the point totals that the other big three and Brooke are going to have, but he still contributed offensively and then defensively spends the whole night under him. Yeah, no, I mean, what he brings us is just, you know, I think there's a toughness with him that's infectious. I think our group is tough, you know, before Todd got here, but he just takes it to that next level. Um, the confidence to be able to put him on, you know, the great players, great wings, um, really anybody. Um, and then, you know, his threes are huge. You know, he had several corner threes. He's working the offensive boards. I think there's a physicality that he brings that can wear on people, that can wear on screeners. Um, you know, he, he's been huge for us. Y'all got any cookies on the road? We had some on the plane out here, but I don't know if they made it to the locker room. Thanks, guys. Thanks, bud.